Hello, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing. Oh, this is a little bit different since um, there's no diamond paintings in this unboxing. Um, fan cells did send me a package and there are diamond paintings in it, but these were all the extras that they Christmas gifts. So thank you to fan cells. Um, so yeah, like I said, this is from fan cells. So these are various like Christmas stuff. Although I am going to have something kind of a diamond painter related because I did actually choose this. This is going to be a diamond painting sealer. So stay tuned at the end. I'm going to test this out. And it's called WL Diamond Painting Finish 100 mils. I don't know. We'll, we'll check this out at the end. So let's check out the stuff they first, the other stuff they sent me. Um, so I got a bunch of stickers. Let's see, this is actually a large roll of stickers. Look at that. That's... I don't know how many stickers are these. Let's see. Will I be able to? I, I did find them. So this should be 500 pieces of ceiling stickers. Um, and it's on their site for 141 in pounds. So let's see. So yeah, lovely stickers here. Um, it says Merry Christmas multiple different ways. Although if they were going to be, I guess, catering towards the UK, maybe it should say Happy Christmas, right? Or am I just making this up? I don't know. I feel like I see that on, on Christmas <laughs> things from the UK. I could be wrong. So just in case you want to know how big this sticker is, it's about a two and a half centimeter diameter or about an inch, a little bit less than an inch. And I figure it's a sticker. I'm not going to go stick it on stuff. <laughs> and so then they also sent me this other sticker. This one is some gift tags. They're supposed to be 300 pieces in this. And this is on their site for 504 in pounds. And That one, this one might be a lost cause, but it does have, it's a bunch of um, gift tag stickers. So, season's greetings, Merry Christmas, have a totally awesome Christmas. That is totally <laughs> something I say, man. Awesome. Um, holly jolly, season's greetings. So it looks like there's just these, maybe f there's four different kinds on this one right here. It's cute. This is totally like, see, this totally awesome one is totally me. Um, this is totally something I would put on my gift boxes, you know, if I were to wrap things and give people things, you know. I don't know. I find as an adult, I just don't see the, the merit in giving people Christmas gifts, like adults. So uh, to me, I always figured Christmas gifts are for children, but this would be great for, you know, the Christmas holiday party. Well, if, you know, I, if I have a Christmas holiday party to go to now, after, you know, after this whole pandemic thing. <laughs> but yeah, no, I think these would be great. And they are stickers. Yep, stickers. There you go. And oh, in case, you know, want to know how big these suckers are. They are about five centimeters wide by, see, now I need, I need to flatten it because I'm using, I'm using rulers, um, by about seven, no, seven and a half centimeters tall. So yeah, they're a nice size. And they actually kind of don't, they I think this would hold, um, your pen, pen um your pen well without smearing so next thing so yeah fan cells just have some completely not diamond painter oh this one's so cute what is this one this one is a candy jar it says it's 171 in pounds this one so it's a candy jar i guess you could put candy in there um, or, you know, you could put in your leftover drills and make an ornament. Does it have a hangy thingy? Oh man, I thought it would be an ornament so it has a hangy thingy, but there's no hangy thingy. So maybe it is a candy dish. It does stand up! So yeah, it's really cute. 
it's a they call it an elk i'm guessing it's a reindeer because you know christmas right um and it has this cute little scarf and then these these mittens i guess okay so yep you guys i guess you could put candy in this the only thing is i would think that there should be some sort of hangy thingy on it but but I'm probably just thinking it's supposed to be an ornament. <laughs> but yeah, candy dish. And in case you want to know approximately what size this is, this is uh, about eight, seven and a half centimeters by, uh, I don't know, like 17 and a half centimeters tall. So yeah, it's cute. Eh, there's some fluff. Okay, I got that one. And then they also sent me, so I, I I did not choose these items, only the sealer. It was mainly because they were like, we're going to send you more, more items for Christmas. And I'm thinking, okay, sure. So this one is a stocking. It's cute. Oh, there's some extra fluff. You know, if I had if I had talent, you know, artistic talent, which I don't, that's why I diamond paint, because you don't need artistic talent, because peop, anyone could put in little dots on things. This would be totally something cute to DIY, you know, like I said, if I had talent. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's a stocking with a, I guess it's a snowman. It's like, it's really cute. I like it. And then there's like little accessories here, and then a bow here. Ooh, it's a carrot nose here. Yeah, see, I would totally, if, if I had talent, I would totally want to learn how to make this, but I, I really doubt, I really doubt my, my skills. <laughs> but yeah, it's this stocking with a snowman here with a hat and then like little arms and feet here. That's cute. And... So yeah, stocking. It's actually a decent sized stocking. Well, I think it's like normal sized stocking. Um, it's about uh, feet. Okay, it's about uh, twenty one centimeters across that way, and then forty centimeters down. Well, I guess if you count the how how much it juts out, it's about twenty three centimeters maybe. So so yeah, this one is four fifty six in pounds on Fansell's site. So, yeah, these were the things they sent me for Christmas. So thank you to Fan Cells for the extra gifts. Um, there will be a future video where you see me unbox the actual diamond paintings that I got with this um, package, but that will be a future video. You'll probably see the kitting up before you actually see the unboxing. So, but for the end of this video, let's try out this sealer that I saw on um, Fan Cells. It's... Well, we'll try it out and we'll see if it works. So let me move this aside and I'll get the table prepared for my ceiling adventure. So I put some plastic here. This is just the plastic covering from a diamond painting, you know, because I keep lots of things. I don't know why. <laughs> and and I just got a diamond painting. I don't remember where this is from, but I just got uh, one of these statue diamond paintings. I meant to um, to seal them, but I have yet to seal it. And I figure, let's try this out. And since this thing is double-sided, worst case is if one side does, if it does not turn out good, I could just be like, okay, the other side, go make that be the front. So let's see, let's read this. Hmm. It says, avoid contact with eyes, skin, and clothing, and hence that's why I got my gloves here. Um, if it gets in your eyes, please wash immediately. If you still feel unwell, go to hospital. Okay, wash soap and water immediately, okay, after skin contact. So, I guess you need gloves for this. Application, table surface viscosity to maintain a long time, not easy to peel off. Application before the table will be cleaned, then scrape layer widely yeah i don't know if, about the instructions so let's just hope it works so i do notice i did notice that there was 
my my fan went on on my for my what do you call that my <laughs> okay so it I'm trying to see if I can see what it looks like inside but it it looks pretty liquidy um, you know the one thing is I think I'm missing the cap because the picture ha of on the screen has like a cap on this and I don't have a cap so I think I'm gonna have to I don't know saran wrap this thing between uses or something um, but should I have shaken it first I don't know so let's try this out I'm gonna sit down sit down let's put some scissors here and let's try this out I'm hoping it'll just be obvious what I need to do. So nothing has come out yet. You know what I'm wondering? <laughs> if there's a seal on the top. Um, I'm, okay, I feel like there's something on my hands. So maybe something is coming out. Maybe I shouldn't have chosen a partial to do this on. Let's try it on here. Do I even if, do I see anything coming out? Okay, there. It does seem like it's wet on the outside. So I'm just going to. Oh, okay, I could kind of see. I don't know. It seems bubbling. So maybe my application isn't correct. But let's just try. Just dotting it like like those bingo. Um, like those bingo like big markers is that how you do it or do you do it like this um my only concern with this is it does seem like it's bubbling um so i might after the video get my um my 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 why cannot i remember words um my blow dryer and blow dry this because i'd be afraid that the white would keep showing it the one thing is i don't smell anything so that's good um and i might just if if i'm able to clean this relatively well i might just keep the the bottle after i finish this and use it to apply maybe put use a different sealer i have like i said i have no idea oh if i've already i've already killed the sponge here so not sure about maybe I'm doing it wrong maybe I should just do it like a bingo that's maybe I should just do it like a bingo bingo board because I've already I've already destroyed the top. No. Maybe I should have used a regular diamond painting for this, but this is the type of diamond painting that I would actually seal because it does I it, this is going to be on like this is an ornament and it's not going to be like in my, in under glass or anything. So so if I were going to seal something, it would be something like this and not like a regular diamond painting. Oops, there's a random extra or no, there's a drill that's out of place there. So let me fix that before I continue on there. Um, but this is the type of diamond painting I would seal. So and hence why I'm trying this out as opposed to something else. Um, so I don't know how easy this is. It might be easier if I was just going to pour it on here and use a um, use a brush or something. Um, I ordinarily have been just spray sealing these ones that are off the canvas, um, mainly because with the it not being like a full diamond painting I just find the spraying easier and you know what after I tried out some spray sealers it's just so much easier to spray with a um, spray with the sealer as opposed to brush it on my only problem with spray sealers are that they are all um, very 
you me so I you have to do it in a well ventilated area and during this the winter or you know time when it's cold like now it's not yet winter I keep saying it's winter but it's actually still fall winter does not start until um, December 21 I think or 22 or 20 one of those I keep forgetting which day the actual start is um, and wait you know what I have no idea when this is gonna get posted it might get posted in winter maybe no um, now I really think it's gonna get posted next week as an extra video on Saturday um, so So I, I have no idea if I'm doing this correct. Um, I feel like I have gotten everything. At least it is a little bit white. I am pondering whether to just let it dry and we'll see if we can still see the white pasty stuff when I'm done. Or should I blow dry this stuff and hopefully not have the white pasty stuff. Um, I think I'll just, just not do anything. And if this turns out badly, then I'll be sad a little bit. But, yeah, I think it would be easier just to probably pour this out and get a brush or something. But, I will pause after I let this dry. I have no idea how long I'm going to let it dry. I might just let it dry over and over overnight. So the next part of this video will be to, well, will be to me tomorrow, but for you in a couple minutes, maybe. I think I got everything. I'm, I'm totally doing this not methodical at all. Um, you should be methodical about it. Um, So I think, I think I've mostly got it. I'm going to have to, unfortunately, since I don't have the cap for this and it never, it didn't come with a cap. I even dumped everything out of the bag to make sure that I was not missing the cap. I'm going to have to do something to seal the top of this. Perhaps just, I don't know, maybe put some of this here. I was thinking saran wrap, but... If, if I just put some tape over this, will that work? Yes, I know. Very, very... I think I just, I just ended up not getting the cap, so... Let's put some tape. If I could do the tape without taking my gloves off. Because I don't want any of the glue to be on my hand. So, unfortunately... We'll see. We'll see if this turns out well. Um, I don't know if I maybe didn't put it on thick enough um, and I might need two coats, but I'm just going to do the one coat and we'll see. We'll see how it looks after it dries. And just assuming I know how to tape this sucker down, which I'm probably going to have to put more than one piece of tape. Um, so. Oh. So. Okay, so I have kind of closed it. Hopefully it won't dry out. Um, and I will pause this and we'll see how this looks dried. Although, yeah, we'll see how this looks dried. So I'll see you later. So I'm back and it's been actually a couple days since the first part of the video and I f discovered something. Um, this is not, it says here, painting finish. It's not a diamond paint, it's not a sealer. Um, that's what I thought it was on the website, but it didn't seal it, it's glue. It actually made it sticky. So. This is not a sealer. It's probably similar to Diamond Dots, um, the dot sticks, which, hey, you know, 
I could still use this because there have been times that I've had diamond paintings not be sticky, but this is more like the application of this is more, yes, I, it's because I didn't have the cap. Um, the application of this is more, you know, you'll be able to apply it, I guess, on a better, in a smaller scale than um, what I've been currently using. So yeah, it's, it's like I said, not a, it's not a glue. I'm gonna have to like spray seal this now because this, my diamond painting is completely sticky now. But I mean, it's clear, so I don't see it. So it shouldn't be a big deal. Um, so, so since it, it was, a, it seems more like a glue, I decided um, to, to, um, put some of it on this magnet that I just got from the Dollar Tree and I figure the last part of this video will be me like testing out the glue. So I did put like a layer of the glue onto this magnet here and I figure let's diamond paint with it. So I'm gonna just put one I'm looking for my tweezers. So I'm not very good at the freestyling stuff, but this is just leftover drills from one of my 50 million special shaped diamond paintings that I've done. Um, and okay, maybe not with the tweezers. So I'm just going to use my three placer and I do use my three placer for a lot of diamond paintings. Yeah, that, that looks centered. Um, for the, for the specials. And let's, let's just use these. It fits, woo! I hope I have enough. I have plenty. Yeah, I think I'll have enough to just keep going around. So yes, it seems to be sticky. I will, um, um, do a spray sealer on this just to make it unsticky. I've noticed the spray sealers don't necessarily stop it from being removed, but it does stop the um, it does stop it from being sticky most of the time. So, so making use of my leftover specials because I've been been going on like a crazy da, um. Um, I've been doing a lot of specials recently, so I have tons of leftover drills now, and I seem to have no, I seem to have no end in my amount of leftovers I have. Oop, I have something there. So, so yeah, the, it does seem like the glue is working here, and it's working on my, it's there. Just making sure it's all centered. Hopefully this will fit nicely in here. Oops. Oop. User error, user error. Here. This is why I don't I don't diamond paint on camera, right? <laughs> so here's my whipping chat and my special stuff unboxing. Um, you will see the diamond paintings for this. soon ish for the rest of the diamond paintings from so so yeah here i was able to kind of put in a sorry i was interrupted a little bit so i was able to do kind of a freestyle sunflower onto this magnet here um using my leftover drills here so I got a use for this, which I thought was a sealer, but it's actually a glue. Um, so this is going to be an extra video anyway. So thank you to Fan Cells for sending me this glue and then the other Christmas items that they sent me. Um, and thank you for watching and happy diamond painting. Bye.